All right, I'm going to make this video because there are enough videos out there right now and enough people out there right now who will send you down the wrong path on this. So I'm going to show you the right way. This is a good, well-made, three-ton floor jack. What I'm going to show you works on the, if it's a good, well-made floor jack, two-ton, four-ton, six, eight, ten-ton jacks, they all work on the same principle. So don't fret that. This all works the same. First thing is, you're going to come back here and see these two little plugs. That one and that one. There's nothing in there for you. You don't need them. Leave them alone. They're not fill plugs. Just leave it be. What you're looking for is right over here on the cylinder itself. That is a little rubber plug on the cylinder. Get yourself a little small screwdriver. Pull that out of there. Don't tear it. Don't rip it up. You're going to need it again. Pull that out of there. Come back over here and turn the valve open, which is counterclockwise. It'll make this turn clockwise, but you're going to spin the handle counterclockwise. Come back over here, fill that up with hydraulic jack fluid. Don't use motor oil. Motor oil will compress, and you don't want some, something that will compress while you've got a car over you. Automatic transmission fluid or brake fluid, they will eat the seals out of your jack. Do not use that stuff. Hydraulic jack oil. You can go to AutoZone or something, pick it up, three bucks a quart. Fill that all the way up as far as you can. Stick your little rubber plug back on there. Come back around here. Close the valve by turning the handle clockwise, which will turn this counterclockwise, and cycle it four, five, six times, whatever you feel like. Just get it cycled. Up all the way, down all the way, up all the way, down all the way, four, five, six times. Now, if it takes you a lot of pumps to get it started, or if it kind of gets herky-jerky on the way up and down while you're doing that, that's fine. Don't fret that. Don't worry about it. In fact, that's kind of what you're looking for. Once you do that four or five times, whatever you feel like, come back over here, put it all the way down, open that plug again. Now when you open that plug, you're probably going to hear the hiss of a little air. Well, that's all the air you just bled out of the system. And the system is nothing more than a valve and a passage. That's it. You don't have very far to go to bleed one of these things. Bleed it out of there. Open it up. You probably won't, but you might need another touch or two of oil. Put the oil back in there. Plug it back up. You're good to go. You won't have to touch this thing for probably another 10 years or so if you have to do it then. This one is a good, well-made, American-made jack. You're not going to blow the seals out of this thing. They're heavy duty. They're made for that sort of thing. A, a car is lightweight to a cylinder like that. The only time I've ever seen in my entire life anything wrong with one of these jacks was 150 years ago when I was a kid. Right down there on that plunger, that's what actuates the pump. In that bore is a little O-ring. Sometimes that O-ring will deteriorate. You have to take that out. Take these bolts off, both sides. Pull this handle out. It'll slide right out of that plunger. Then just pull the plunger straight up. Get yourself a really small pick. Reach in there and pull that O-ring out. Get another O-ring the same size. Put it back in there. There's a little groove for it to fit in. Now use a pick, not a screwdriver. You don't want to score or scrape the side of that bore. Get that O-ring back in there. 
push that plunger back in, put your handle back on, fill and bleed it, and there you go. And like I say, I've only seen that once in my entire life, and I am older than dirt. This particular, well, this jack right here, three-ton floor jack. I bought it nine or ten years ago. I got it off of Craigslist. I paid $20 for it. The guy I bought it from had already owned it 30, 35 years at that point. <coughs> Excuse me. So these things will last a, a lifetime with just a minimum maintenance. They're all steel. There are some ball bearings for this caster right here. Take them out every 100 years or so and grease them up. Take those wheels off, solid steel. Grease up the axle there, put them back together. That's it. That You take reasonable care of this thing. Don't just throw it in the bottom of the lake or out in the Gulf of Mexico. It'll, it'll outlast you. It'll outlast your kid. It'll outlast your grandkids. Get a good one. Don't get one of those throwaway Chinese things.